Hello Windcomers. Terry Gilmore up here in Central Oregon. Beautiful sunny day. I want to talk about our sign-up form to uh, become a member or become a breeder of a particular risk, race. Uh, you'll just click on that sign-up button from the main menu and you'll just start filling the form out. And I've got this, have done it before, so it's going to auto-complete some of these things. You'll have to uh, type in the whole thing. But it's very important you have to fill in every field because if you don't, it's going to kick it back that uh, you, it'll, well, it'll kick back the information that's not filled in. And the reason for doing this is so that your uh, handler, your, the race that you're becoming a member of, can communicate with you properly. Most important of all is the email address and, of course, a mailing address so they'll be able to, to mail information to you and also to get email information to you. number of features in Win Companion uses your email addresses to automatically send you results on races, to send you notice on your perch fee payments, your bird registration, your uh, entry fee payments, etc. So there's, there's a lot of information that you will receive if we have your email address uh, entered properly. So I'm going to become a member and it's going to take me down here to um, the breeder list. And I'll scroll down and, and here I am. So here's, here's my name. And so now I'm in the race and I've reserved one perch. So um, let's say you wanted to increase the number of perches that you had or you want to update your information. We'd come back here to that same sign up form, only this time we're going to log in as a breeder. And here's our name and here's our entrant information. And we want to, the, instead of one perch, we want to do six perches. So we'll just hit the update button and there it is and now we've we've got six perches reserved. The uh, other thing you can do here and is to discover whether or not your email address is registered properly and I gotta tell you in a lot of cases these databases are initially populated by files that don't have all your complete information and if we had your email address then you could get your username and password yourself just by coming here and and click on the um, on that uh, forgot password link and put in your name and your email address and hit submit and now an email will be sent to you you'll get this message back that the uh, email has been sent to your email address so and that will contain your username and password then you'll be able to come back and log in by yourself so let's let's go back to the sign up menu and let's see uh, <coughs> I want to show you what happens when we don't have your email on file um, and we hit submit and now you're going to get a an error message it says your email is either spelled incorrect or doesn't exist and you and in this particular case I know that one does not exist but um, so once you got that message then you would know there was no way that you could communicate with this particular race on your own. So your next step would be to just email the, uh, use, use the race owner's email address and e email them directly and ask them to, to uh, insert your email address and send you a username and, and password. So at any rate, hopefully that'll cover the, the um, sign up form. And by the way, we do have another one that is basically it's this, it's the same thing, same same form, just it's just in a little different format. But 
but uh, it, it'll end up doing the same thing. So I think that should do it.